Hey developers, today we're going to be building our first AI agent workforce using chat dev. What exactly does that mean? Well, basically we're going to be setting up AI employees to build software for us. I'm going to quickly explain how chat dev works, how to set it up. And then at the end, we're going to run this little web app and we're going to build our own software And each of these AI employees. I'm going to show you how they interact with each other to build our software. It's pretty cool stuff. Let's get started. There are three components to chat dev. There are roles, phases, and chat chain. The roles are really just the AI agents or the employees that you want to hire for your software development team. You can have the CEO, a marketing director, a programmer, a reviewer, a code tester, art designer, whatever it is that you want. But these are where you're going to define your AI agents to develop whatever it is that you want. Next, we have phases. This is the stage or task that you want to give to each of your AI agents. In this example, we have a language chooser. So we're going to tell a programmer and code reviewer Hey, when it comes time for you to do something, we want it done in Java, Lua, Python, or JavaScript, whatever it is. And the third component is chat chain. This is really just a configuration file that tells all the AI agents what tasks to perform and in what order. For instance, you might want to start off with demand analysis, which could have the product owner and the CEO talk together and talk about how we are going to build whatever the software is. And then it will go to the programmer once they decided, and the programmer will start developing that software. It'll go to the code reviewer, it'll go to the tester, and you could tell the tester to leave comments and the programmer what they need to modify uh, based on the requirements of the software. And you can tell them a certain number of iterations to go back and forth with each other till they get it right. And then at the end, you have your built software. Here's some examples that come with it. Here's a currency converter. There's a very simple home designer application, create your own MS Paint software, and there's also ping pong. Let's get started with the setup. Uh, the first thing is we're going to go to this repo, which I'll have in the description for chat dev. Uh, we'll first clone this repository. Once you clone this, you go to your favorite IDE, whatever you want to use. I use PyCharm Community Edition, which I'll have in the description if you don't have, any have anything yet. Once you go here, you clone it. You're going to have a similar setup to this. Okay. The warehouse folder, this is where all the projects that you create and all the ones that are there by default that their team created so that we can test, this is where they're going to be. Now, the next step is has these conda commands, all right? But this isn't going to work if you don't have Anaconda installed on your computer. So the first thing we need to do and make sure you have is install Anaconda. Now to do that, you're going to go to anaconda.com slash download. You'll click the download button and then download this. And then you'll just go through the steps, just say yes for everything. And once you're done, you'll probably have to restart your IDE. You're going to want to go up to your settings. Now this may not be for every IDE, but we're going to, have to go to the settings. You're going to go to Python interpreter. You're going to go to add interpreter, add local interpreter. And then now this conda environment, this is now going to be here because we have Anaconda set up on our system. You'll just want to make sure use existing environment is still checked. You click OK, then OK, and you're done. Now you can run these commands. So you'll take the first command, conda create. It's going to run all this for you. It might take a minute. And then it actually already has the second command for you here. So you just copy that, conda activate, and we're good. Now that we're set up, we can finally install the dependencies and then get ready to build our first software. You'll probably be in your main project folder now. So the first we need to do is CD into uh, the project. So CD chat dev test is mine. Yours will probably just be chat dev. Then we need to run the requirements.txt. This, this uh, text file right here, we need to execute that so it can install all the requirements for us. So we'll go ahead and run this. This might take a minute and we're done. All right, the next thing we need is our open AI key. To do that, you go to platform.openai.com. Once you sign in, you'll go to the top right on your account, go to view API keys. You'll create a secret key. You'll take that key, copy it, go back to your IDE. You're going to paste it in and replace your open AI API key. You're going to hit enter. And then now we're ready to build our first software or have our autonomous team build our first software. Now this is pretty simple. We're just going to run this command and you just give uh, whatever idea that you want to tell it, right? So this is like chat GPT. If you've messed with it before, you can give a very simple description. You can give a fleshed out description, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to paste one in and I'll have the description so that you can copy and use it to test out. So you give a, tell it what 
you want to create, tell your team, your AI team, what you want to create, and then you just give it the name of your project. Now that we're back in our IDE, I'm going to give this program. Or now that we're back in the IDE, I'm going to give it this command to run, which is just to create a tic-tac-toe game with a button to show the history of moves, red circles, blue X's, and a black outline of the board. And I want to name it first project. Once we run this, now this is going to take a few minutes, but what's happening here is we're having a conversation. The, the autonomous agents or all the employees that we created are having a conversation with themselves and telling each other what their role is, what we want them to do, and how they're going to complete it. Okay. Now this is going to be this is going to look a lot better when we run the web app and I show you the dialogue that e everybody's having with each other in that little like game that we saw, saw in the beginning. This is going to take a few minutes, so we'll come back whenever this is done. As you can see here, I mean, it's literally writing code for you, right? So this is the programmer, the reviewer, the commenter, they all talk together, the CEO liked it and all this and all of this. Okay. So it created all this code for us. I didn't do anything. I just let the autonomous agents do their job. Now, one thing to note is this does cost a little bit of money. This cost about two cents. Okay, so whenever you go to your platform.openai.com, you can go to the billing section and just add a couple dollars and you can start running this. Now, in order to run it, you just have to go into that directory uh, under the warehouse or the, the folder where you created the game. So you go to CD warehouse and then you have to CD into your new project folder. And now that we're in here, you just say Python three main.py. And that's gonna bring up your game and it's playable. And of course, it doesn't like really show winner yet or anything, but it does show the blue X's red circles that I said, and uh, it has a button where you can see the history where uh, each move was made. Really awesome stuff. Okay, now that that's done, what I want to show you in the beginning is how we can visually see how everybody worked together and the chat that they had with each other to create the game. So in order to do that, you go to lo this local demo, it's just going to create a Flask app for you, which is a Python web application. And you're going to copy this. You're going to go back into your IDE. You're going to run this. Now, all you have to do is go to your local host, which I already have set up here. And you're going to go to chat replay. You're going to go to file upload. This is, uh, I'm, I'm already in my project folder, but when you go to your project folder, there's a log file that you need to click. So you double click that. You're gonna hit replay. And this starts the conversation uh, starting with the CTO and everybody. And you can see on the left here, this guy in the middle, he's kind of the CEO. We have the coding section, the designer section, testing, documenting, and everybody's talking to each other on how we're going to create a tic-tac-toe game for the user. And now the programmer here, as you can see, he's starting to actually write the code. And this is really amazing because once he writes this code, then we're going to have the reviewer check it. Uh, they're going to have a tester and make sure it actually works. And then they're going to collaborate and talk back with each other to see what to fix and what maybe needs added or and so forth. I really hope this helped you out in understanding how uh, you can build your own AI workforce using chat dev. This is really awesome. If you have any questions or comments, put them in below and I will be happy to talk with you about it and answer anything that you have. I'll see you next video.